Welcome to Near Mint Condition, a channel where you can be part of a positive, honest community and lay claim to some comic book knowledge. Today, it brings us, the family, great pleasure to review Ben Bender's Kickstarter book, uh, Bjorn. The littlest Viking. The littlest Viking. <laughs> Let's do this adjective, Liz Alicia. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. I am the Uncanny Omar. I'm the Astonishing Melanie, and... I'm Adjective Liz Alicia. And we're crammed into our gaming ah. racing chairs uh, yeah. to, <laughs> to this video. Uh, so before getting started, a huge thank you to Ben Bender for sending us a copy of his book that he kickstarted last year sometime. This is Bjorn, and what was it, Alicia? What, Bjorn, what is Bjorn? Is that how you say his name? How ah. did you pronounce it? Bjorn. Bjorn? Are you just saying that because I, I'm no, I mispronounce things a lot. <laughs> Born. Born. It, it, it could very well be born. Um, but yeah, he kickstarted Volume 1 last year. Volume 2 is currently going through its Kickstarter, and that information is in the description of this video. So we're going to give you a spoiler-free review of this family-friendly book. Yeah. So Poppy read it by himself, and then... Uncanny Omar, not Poppy. You and um, I. Poppy. Not, no, you and I read it Poppy. together. Read together at the same time. A couple of times you laughed out loud. Right? Yeah. Um, so, Alicia, what does Bjorn the Littlest Viking want? Uh, he wants to have a good adventure and fight uh, monsters. And stuff. Okay, uh-huh. Is that what all Vikings do? Is that why he wants to do that? Yeah. And then, Poppy, who does he meet that helps him? I'm not sure why you're using the same tone with me that you are with her. I know what I'm doing. Anyway, uh, he meets a wizard, right, Alicia? And then the wizard uh, gives him a map to where um, some stuff is are. Some stuff some is stuff are. Some are. There you go. So he's looking for treasure, fame, fortune, wants to kill things, like a real Viking. Yes, your daughter already said that. But, okay. Uh, it reminded me of One Piece, that opening, when he's sitting at the bar and ordering a drink, and he's trying to act like a manly man, and it's like a, what was it, like a chocolate, chocolate milkshake. Milk yeah, <laughs> and yeah. Then, <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then he tosses the crazy twirly straw out, and the wizard's like, it must be a bad, bad day if you <laughs> if you're throwing if you're away crazy the, straw. Yeah, the twirly straw. So, so Bjorn hops on a boat, goes to the island, and... And he meets a raven. He wants to eat it, right, Alicia? Yeah. Because he's hungry. But the raven looks like he's got one huge blinded eye. It's clouded over. And he shows the littlest Viking a vision. This reminded me of Odin. Um, that part of mythology, especially with the, the raven, right, being like a helper or something. You read one Neil just... Gaiman comic book and it makes you... <laughs> I read the book first. Okay, you did read the book first. <laughs> and and I've read Odin's decades eye. of Thor. All right, there. Um, by the way, in that piece of art, uh, I'd like to show it here in a minute. That it, it was really cool and dark. Okay. So, anywho, so Alicia, what happens after that vision? Who does he meet? After the vision, we meet a troll named Tagoob, but Bjorn doesn't meet him. We just see him and. He's definitely going to be part of the uh, story later, right? Because they look like they're best buddies in all of the artwork mm -hmm. um, that's included at the end of this. And the test pages, too. Kind of like Calvin and Hobbes, right? Which he says is a source of inspiration for this book. That he loved Calvin and Hobbes. Um, so it replaced Calvin with the Viking and Hobbes the tiger with a Go troll. Goob? Yeah. Okay. Um, what were the other two comics? Hagar the Horrible. Yeah. And, and uh, Pogo. Oh, Pogo. Yeah. 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 Pogo. I always get uh, Obelisk and uh, Hagar the Horrible confused. What all that? What all that? <laughs> you're a gifted student and you're asking, what are all that? We'll talk about that later in your English. Um, <laughs> so, our daughter, by the way, is nine years old and she had no problems reading this. So it is geared really towards anybody. If you enjoy comic strips growing up, if you're a child at heart, or if you're a child, child. Child, child. Child, child, yes. A child, uh, that is Ben a child. Benter mentions um, at the end how he felt that Bjorn had too big of a story to be um, for the format of a comic panel strip mm -hmm. so he was trying one page comics um and then he's like i gotta do a whole book 
So it grew into this. Yeah. Nice oversized artwork. We've got digital coloring. We also have water coloring on his test pages. We This started out as a comic book Kickstarter, but people just had a lot of faith in this and he kept adding more and more yeah, extras instead of in the back a, instead and of he gave a... us a nice hardcover. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. hardcover uh, with the second one coming out, well, hopefully kickstarted soon. Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's, let's look at the artwork really quick and then come back and tell us, uh, give you all our final thoughts. Here is the cover and it's really smooth. It's really smooth. That's right. But it's not like a vinyl that you're trying to scratch there, DJ Alicia. So one of the things you may notice here, it's got this gold title up here. and Yeah, it's, it's got the gold embossing. Yeah, it's embossed. The frame around the picture. It's really nice. Gives Wait. it a nice touch of fancy. And that is beautiful. These are your end pages. He look it it's um there's a lot of life in that picture. It looks like he's you could really see him swinging through. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cute. This is the kind of artwork to expect in here and there's Ben Bender. Ben this Bender. is dedicated to I think it's his wife. His wife. That is adorable right there for This book is for Addie. I always read dedications and later on it, it explains who Addie is. Uh this there's fairies. There's fairies. <laughs> Good job, they're fairies. So this is the type of artwork to expect. We talk Whoa. about a time of Vikings, strong Vikings, brave Vikings, fierce Vikings. No, it's a wolf. And I'm sorry, that's a wolf down there. It's a wolf. And then we meet, of course, the littlest Viking Bjorn. drinking his Bjorn. That's right, <laughs> his chocolate milk. Um, so we'll, here, let me show you what the wizard looks like, and we'll show a couple of pages that Melanie was talking about and show you what Goob talks about. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Scotty Young with some of the shadowing that he's using, um, the cartoon style of Scotty Young, but let me show you what Melanie was talking about. I enjoyed the change of tone in his vision panel, um, that it, it just the colors really do wonders for it, right? I was like, oh, that's really dark compared to the rest of the stuff that's happening. Yeah, he looks so cute and innocent and adorable. Meanwhile, what does all that mean? F you think that's Odin's eye, Alicia? Oh, spoilers. And then we did want to show you what Goob looks like. This Goob. So this is Goob. This is the other character that's going to be a main character, but he just appears in these two pages. Um, now, a couple of little extras in the back. We're not going to show all of it because we do want to surprise, keep people in suspense for those that ordered the book already. Okay. So we're going to look at a couple of pinups here, just a couple, and then Alicia really wants to show you all the test page. So here's a couple pinups by different artists. I like that. Some of them you may be familiar with. Aw, because he's going to play the butterfly. Here's what the test pages look like. This is an example of what the comic book was originally going to look I like. I like that one and that one. But yeah. I like his uh, character design now, right? You see how it's grown from his face in uh, the test pages. Oh, I yeah. like his eyes more. Yeah, I like this. It's a lot more animated. Mm -hmm. All right. That's it. So, adjective list, Alicia, what did you like about the book? I like that he's little, and I like that he, um, he, there was a joke in the book where it said his name was on the, um, book title and so he broke the fourth wall yeah how do you know what that is you don't read deadpool or harley quinn <laughs> do you she knows what meta is we talked she about the other night is. She... <laughs> all right anyway i'm sorry sweetie no. i oh wait anything else or was that it um I just, yeah that was did it. you like goob yeah um i don't know we haven't seen him that much we haven't seen that much. Okay, makes sense. I really liked the character designs and the artwork. Ben Bender's lines, they, they're just so fluid that it seems like you could... It, it never lifted the page, his pen, and you could just follow it. Um, and the all the colors. The colors are wonderful, especially with the water. And I really enjoyed the fact of how innocent he was, like when he was trying to slay creatures. Love the extras in the back. There's a bunch of pinups in here yes. that add... A lot to this little book there so it's a different artist portrayal of the two characters mm -hmm. and yeah it, I mean it doesn't feel like it's two characters now because we only met one in, in a couple of pages but it seems like their paths are going to cross more in the second volume uh, 
Uh, she, yes. I liked the test page. The test oh, pages? Okay. Yeah. Uh, why did you like the test pages? I don't know. It's cool. It's cool. I liked it because um, Bjorn and Goob were together, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why are you looking at me? You're talking to them. I'm so, talking to you, but you were... Oh, it's okay. Ah! So the test pages were done to kind of... So he can get the feel for what kind of story he wanted to tell. Like Melanie was saying earlier, uh, whether it's going to be a comic strip or a web comic, what was going to work, or, or was it going to be a kid's book? And he decided to go with the comic route. Good choice. <laughs> um, so overall, I strongly recommend this for anybody that has kids for anybody like i said there's a kid at heart what about you two yeah go check out the kickstarter um because yeah. you can tell he has a lot of heart put into this i liked it there it's You're got adjective yeah. alicia's seal of approval i'm falling my mommy said she said i was falling are you riding on your mother yeah. Okay. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Um, go and check out Ben Bender's Kickstarter for the second book, like you just said. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I did that again. Uh, thank you again to Ben for sending us a copy of this book. We all really enjoyed it. And hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And that's it. Sign us off. Edges of Alicia. Mm -hmm. What do we say? Or what does mommy say? Uh, Ready? One, two, three. Stay minty. Bye, everybody. <laughs>